All right, Moses, the Lloyd Minster Bobcats have had a few days to, quote, look in the mirror <laughs> after a couple of tough losses over the weekend. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, rough for them against White Court. Of course, coach yeah. Gary Van Harry earlier this week talking about this team needing a wake-up call, and it's time to put those games behind them. As Nerman Issa explains, the blue line as well is going to get a big boost later this week. For a team like us coming off the weekend we did, we can't look at any team as being a, a, a game uh, that you're just going to put your skates on and go out and win. We're going to have nights where we're just we're just not there, and it's about you know bouncing back the next day and finding a way to forget about it and just uh, battle back for these games ahead of us. Learn from it and move on. That's the message the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats are sending out. Two tough losses to the Whitecourt Wolverines open their eyes to the importance of not letting their foot off the gas. And with nine games left on the schedule, including tonight against the Drumheller Dragons, time is running out to figure that out. If you look back a week ago, and that might have been a little bit of the problem having that 12 to 1 win. Uh, but you got to put those things behind you. And it doesn't matter if you get beat 12 to 1 or you lose 12 to 1. You got to take each team in its own uh, case, and you got to know with nine games left in the season that we have to get a lot better and we're starting to run out of time. Injuries have plagued this hockey club, but their blue line is expected to get a big boost this weekend. Graydon Smith is back on the ice for the first time in more than six weeks. While he won't suit up tonight, he's pumped to be back on the ice for practice. My conditioning was way better than I thought it was going to be. I was uh, feeling better. I was skating. I wasn't that tired. So first practice back, I thought I did pretty good and I was moving and wrist was feeling pretty good. Um, shooting the puck decently hard, not quite 100% yet, but overall I thought it was pretty good. He's a guy that we certainly welcome back and, and physically, mentally, character. Uh, he's a guy that's going to make us a better team the first time he hits the ice. After tonight's tilt, the boys are on the road in Fort McMurray for two games this weekend. Smith should make his return on Friday. Nairman Issa, Newcap Sports. Well, the Pontiacs are also in action. They return to the ice after a six-day break. They host Drayton Valley. The Pontiacs have won the previous four meetings between these two clubs. Also of note, Steen Pashnik on a pretty good streak, 11-game point streak to be exact for Bonneville. Can he make it 12? Well, make sure you go to the game. If not, tune in to New Cap News at late. Puck drop for this contest is at 7.30. Now the final push of the season is at hand for the Lloydminster foremost heat. The Bantam squad sit tied for second in their division, neck and neck with opposing teams trying to clinch first place. And while the heat have been great on the road, playing at home come playoff time would be nice. Josh Ryan reports. The foremost heat head into their final regular season road trip after a pair of important home victories last weekend. A proverbial lifting the monkey off the back for winger Caleb Brown and the rest of the team after going months without a win on home ice. Nice. Not worrying about not being able to win at home. So we won and it's good now. However, the work is far from done for the squad. Currently, the Heat sit tied for second place in their division, a point back of first, meaning a loss or a win will drastically change their final place. Now that their home hosts are finally over, having more fan support and less travel is something the team would love to have. The big two games for us to clinch that first place, so at least home advantage, so we don't have to travel as much and we can play here uh, more games and make the other team drive here. The two remaining opponents for the Heat are Southgate and St. Albert, two teams that are significantly ahead in league standings. However, the players can take confidence in having beaten Southside and tied St. Albert this year. I feel like we can be right there with them, just be, uh, be smart with the puck, and no blue line turnover, stuff like that. But in order to clinch home ice, the squad will need to continue to keep its defensive game solid. Oh, yeah, it's collective effort from the, starting from the goaltending and then defensemen forwards doing the job defensively, being, being smart defensively. Do the little things for each other, not for yourself, and play for the team, not yourself. Josh Ryan, Newcap Sports. Now the Lakeland Rustlers futsal squads have had two weeks to practice and get hard to at work since their uh, first tournament of the season. Now the men's squad, which sits tied for first place, is looking forward to hosting the second qualifier here in Lloyd Minster. Josh Ryan has more. This weekend, Lakeland College's futsal squads face challenge number two, hosting the second ACAC qualifying tournament of the season. This time, however, they have home fans in their arsenal. With the soccer program, we're not uh, on campus with our field, so it's nice to have an event where we're on campus and uh, have the other uh, 
uh, programs come and support uh, futsal and soccer. For the players, this is a chance to not only enjoy having family, friends and classmates in attendance, but also showcase futsal to the community here in the border city. Well, it's always exciting playing at home, outdoor. It's, it's always exciting at home in futsal. It's, it's even more exciting. You're in close with the crowd, make a lot of noise. It picks up the intensity, gets the boys going, so it'll be good. So it's a very quick game. Uh, there's goals flying around every, every couple of minutes almost, so that's always, always something to, to enjoy seeing. As far as their play is concerned, the men's team is solely focused on sharpening every one of their tools heading into the conference championship. The wrestlers managed a draw against three-time defending champion Keanu two weeks ago and are looking to break through this season for the school's first men's title since 2012. Well, we're just setting ourselves up for to, to, to find a, what's going to work best for us in the, you know, the finals, in the final game, is to, uh, what, what players, what tactics uh, will, will give us the best chance to come back with a gold medal instead of silver. One of the main focuses of practice this week is between the posts. Lakeland's keepers let in a number of shaky goals at their first tournament, but there are already signs of steady progress catching and shooting at them so they catch the ball live so it doesn't bounce away so they get easy easy tap in Josh Ryan new cap sports